The Duggar Family found international attention in 2008, thanks to the TLC show 17 Kids and Counting, which chronicled their lives in northwest Arkansas. Seen by the public as wholesome and old-school, if not a little strange, the Duggars made a cottage industry of themselves just by being who they are, having tons of babies, not watching TV, and homeschooling their litter of kids. As they added more children, forcing the name of the show to change to 18 and then 19 Kids and Counting, they also gathered their own share of critics. Eventually, family scandals changed how the public perceived the clan. Here are some of the sketchier things about this famous family you might not have known about. Josh is still hanging around. In 2015, Josh Duggar confessed to sexually molesting five girls when he was a teenager, including at least two of his sisters. Ultimately, it was that behavior that led to the cancellation of his family's TV show and harmed the Duggar reputation forever. Josh stepped down from his job with the Family Research Council, and with wife Anna Duggar about to give birth to their fourth child, TLC ended the program after seven years on the air, before quickly giving the family an equally visible spin-off. Adding to that already horrible scandal, hacked accounts at Ashley Madison, a website specifically for people who want to cheat on their spouses, revealed Josh to be a client. He admitted to cheating on Anna and to a porn addiction, which led to a seven-month stint at a spiritual rehab center. And yet, his parents still encouraged Josh to be a public part of the family, according to their own social media profiles. It's one thing to welcome the outcast uncle to a private Thanksgiving gathering, but posting those photos online as a famous family is a different story. Not everyone in the Duggar family has felt as inclusive toward Josh. The revelations prompted some of Josh's younger brothers to redirect their lives. One of the toughest things I ever had to tell my, my older brother was, I I don't want to be like you anymore." When Josh was invited to attend his sister Ginger's televised wedding, producers were forced to take extraordinary steps during editing so that he wouldn't appear in the episode. People reports that TLC does not have plans for Josh to appear on Jessa and Jill's new show, Counting On, either. The Divorce Bribe in an effort to keep Josh and Anna together and near the family compound after these scandals broke, patriarch Jim Bob Duggar gifted the couple a $345,000 house, an offer Anna reportedly rejected, according to Hollywood Life. Following up, In Touch Weekly reported that, "...offering Anna the home is just a ploy to get her to abandon any idea of leaving Josh." It reportedly also had the unintended effect of upsetting the other Duggar kids, since giving away free houses for cheating scandals shouldn't be a thing. Divorce room Rumors persist, but the Duggars adhere to narrow religious principles that frown upon divorce. To those who believe, as Jim Bob and Michelle do, the scandal of a divorce would be an even bigger blow to the Duggar family than the previous negative attention brought by Josh unusual solutions. In the wake of Josh's scandals, the Duggar parents gave interviews in which they promised the public that safeguards were put in place to prevent any more predatory behavior from happening within their family. We got him out of the home and we sent him down to this place and that was really probably the best decision that we made through this whole process. They took measures one step further and essentially separated all of the boys from the girls as much as possible. Michelle Duggar said the family banned its boys from babysitting and wouldn't allow them to play hide-and-seek with the girls. Further, little Duggar children were only allowed to sit on their dad's laps. Jim Bob Duggar added that they watched Josh all of the time, but in the same interview, the Duggars downplayed Josh's actions, describing them as subtle and mild. Mental health professionals thought that the Duggars were ignoring Josh's predatory tendencies. Unpersuaded, Jim Bob claimed to Megan Kelly that the police chief of Springdale, Arkansas, might have taken a bribe in order to get the story into the public eye. A few weeks ago, she said, you know, I'm getting ready to retire and there's a few things I want to do before I retire. You think you were think, on the list? I think I was on the list. Michelle's Hypocrisy In 2014, Michelle Duggar literally lent her voice to a cause in Fayetteville, Arkansas, recording a robocall that expressed oppositional views to rights for gay and transgender people. At that time in Arkansas, according to the Fayetteville Flyer, people could legally be evicted or fired for being gay or transgendered. In Michelle's recorded monologue, she said, in part, I don't believe the citizens of Fayetteville would want males with past child predator convictions that claim they are female to have a legal right to enter private areas reserved for women and girls. Everyone can agree that we should keep child predators away from children. But even within the Duggar family, men who are admitted predators get a pass, as long as they aren't gay or identify as female. Got it, Michelle. Despite Duggar's efforts, voters approved the civil rights measure. 
Jill's Midwife Crisis. Derek Dillard proudly announced in September 2015 that his wife, Duggar daughter Jill, had become a certified professional midwife. Not everyone is impressed, however. Dr. Amy Tuchur, a Harvard-educated obstetrician-gynecologist who runs a blog called The Skeptical OB, says Dillard's midwife credentials are more for personal vanity than a profession. Dr. Tuchur notes that Jill's flimsy credentials as a CPM are not recognized by the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, Canada, or Australia because they don't meet the international standards for midwifery education and training. According to Tuchur, the rigorous education and training and education that a certified nurse midwife, rather than a certified professional midwife, requires is the real deal. Tuchur alleges that Jill just took a cheap and dangerous shortcut to avoid the nurse part. The Dillard's Awkward Missionary Position the Dillards established themselves as missionaries, started the Dillard Family Ministry, and moved to El Salvador in order to spread the word in July 2015. However, they also created suspicion due to their frequent vacations back to the U.S., which prompted questions about how donation money was being spent. The couple were forced to offer refunds to anyone who wanted one. And in addition to collecting their own donations, their mission was already being sponsored by SOS Ministries, who also have a separate donation page. On top of that, SOS Ministries also bought the Dillards a $20,000 home in El Salvador, allegedly pulling funds from a large, half-built center meant for public use. Even stranger, their church, the Southern Baptist Convention, doesn't even consider either of them to be legit missionaries, since neither one has the education required. And while Derek has an unrelated accounting degree, Jill hasn't even attended college, since her father has railed against the worldly dangers of higher education. Further complicating their mission is a second pregnancy, which isn't the kind of thing you do when promising to work in a country that actively discourages pregnancies until 2018 due to the Zika virus. Strangely, this did not stop Derek from joking about the disease on Instagram. Keep it classy, Derek. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.